So you're all very welcome to our MSc in Advanced Pharmacy Practice webinar. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Brona White and I'm the course director for this course. So we're very excited about this. This is our first year of this program and it supersedes really of a successful program that I was course director for in the MSc in Pharmacy Management. And then, you know, we were contacted by NICPLD as to a way of exploring how we could um, advance the program and bring on independent prescribers and those who have completed their foundation year in order to develop an MSc program. So we're very excited about this and our first year and delighted to give you more information on it in this session. So um, I'm just going to cover the following five points. So essentially the benefits of studying at Ulster University, um, just what you can expect from course delivery, what modules will be taken and how essentially that they are assessed, um, how you go about making an application and just a little bit about fees and finance at the end. And Avril has very kindly um, provided links in the chat function there um, for links with regard to postgraduate fees. So benefits of studying at UU, I joined the course team in 2009. So we're going into our 13th year here um, of pharmacy and pharmacology within the Faculty of Life and Health Sciences. And certainly we're top school in the Guardian League for pharmacy and pharmacy pharmacology for 2021. So it has been successful and I hope you have met some of our graduates um, as, as within your practice and certainly within community pharmacy and hopefully now they'll be moving on into general practice roles as well. So um, we've excellent conversion courses and certainly for those of you who want to change a career to move out of pharmacy at this stage, there are other opportunities there for you, but we want you to stay in our MSc in advanced pharmacy practice. So certainly stay, stay with us here in the School of Pharmacy and Pharmacology. Um, we have 94% student satisfaction in our national student survey with um, the pharmacy course. So our, our students really are testimony to um, the, the course and, and what we do down at Ulster in Coleraine. And certainly um, these postgraduate courses give you a competitive age in employment. So certainly, you know, within Agenda for Change and as you move through your bands, you know, it will be giving you evidence of further education, further development, advancing your practice. And certainly um, this advanced pharmacy practice will help you to do that. There's also certain personal fulfillment by undertaking a postgraduate study. And certainly within the school, we have our experts within the team. Um, so we have Professor Kathy Burnett, Dr. Ab Elmad Abdelhana, Dr. Aaron Courtney, um, Mr. Ian Jack and myself. And certainly, you know, we do support all our students and we have a very supported study environment even though it will be a distance learning course, we do hold webinars and programs so that we can all join together and certainly get that communication and that interaction and support going um, within the sessions. And certainly it's going to help you, you know, with developing your academic and professional qualification. And we have those collaborative links with um, the Department of Health or Health and Social Care Board. I know that the, the days are ending now with the Health and Social Care Board, but certainly um, with the Department of Health and with Glynis and all our colleagues within the GP Federation and our Community Pharmacy Northern Ireland colleagues and Ulster Chemist Association. So we have those strong collaborative links within the profession. So um, our MSc in Advanced Pharmacy Practice, um, it's a flexible mode of study. So certainly you will be undertaking this as part-time a distance learning program. And within Ulster, our digital learning strategy has been really established since 2001. So we have a very strong, um, innovative, well-developed online education program and lots of our programs are part-time distance learning. So there is invaluable support from our ADL 
um, colleagues, you know, to support you getting on to Google Chrome using these platforms such as Blackboard B Learn that will support your learning there as well. And we have a digital learning strategy 2015 and we were never so grateful for having that whenever um, you know, we were shunted to online learning and certainly within the programme for the MSc and pharmacy management that was all already online. So I had established good, um, you know, pedagogy education programmes through that online platform and that was able to be transferred into our undergraduate programme when everything went online. So we have very strong support um, within that at Ulster. Um, so just a wee bit more about our MSc in pharmacy practice and the overview of our advanced pharmacy practice. So I'm going to just click into the chat function here. So I have given you a link there um, onto that and that's going to bring me into the advanced pharmacy practice site. Can you see that Avril? I'm going to have to share my screen. Can I just get a thumbs up that you can see that now? Yeah, okay, so you can see it. So um, we're in now to the Advanced Pharmacy Practice site on the uh, online prospectus. So within this, you can actually get an overview of the program. So what it's all about. So essentially it's pharmacists developing skills and knowledge in advanced practice, enabling them to lead and support practitioners across the healthcare system. So certainly the modules will match the Royal Pharmaceutical Society advanced pharmacy framework and the learning outcomes within this. So um, we cover areas within expert professional practice, collaborative working relationships, leadership, management, education, training and developing, uh, development and research and evaluation. So students will be admitted onto the MSc programme through accreditation of prior learning and certified learning and have met the learning outcomes of modules from programmes successfully completed at NICPLD. So that is essentially the foundation pharmacist programme. And I know that some pharmacists who are interested in undertaking this advanced pharmacy practice won't have completed that foundation pharmacist programme but we will be able to accredit um, through your experience, so a credit of prior learning and experience those learning outcomes met through that module. And I'll talk a wee bit more about that as we progress through the slides. Um, we also have pharmacotherapeutics for pharmacist independent prescribers. And you know, many of you will have undertaken that through NIC PLD and medicines optimization for pharmacist independent prescribers. So students can be accredited onto the program because they have that prior certified learning from NIC PLD, haven't undertaken pharmacotherapeutics for pharmacist independent prescribers and medicines optimization for pharmacist independent prescribers. If you haven't taken the program within NIC PLD, but have taken it through other institutions, whether that's Keele or any or any other universities across the water, you know, we will accredit that certified learning um, with evidence of certification there. So modules um, within it, once we you have been accredited for that prior experiential learning or the prior accredited learning through certi certification, you will be admitted onto year three of the course. So that moves into year three, the advanced pharmacy practice development module and research methodologies for advanced pharmacy practice and then the research project in advanced pharmacy practice. So there will be three modules undertaken within that year three. 
And certainly I would advise you um, just to use that link within the um, chat function there, just to click into the prospectus and, and see what's um, available there to you within those modules. So I leave that for you to um, pursue at your own time there. I'll just go back to my slides now. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the link there to the advanced pharmacy practice that you can click into through the chat function. Um, so applying online uh, is through the Ulster online application and within that entry on the prospectus, you can um, just click into that button online. And again, I have within the chat function, um, a link to the online application form. We talked about the point of entry and the accreditation of prior learning. In the online application form in section 5.4, it states you know, um, that your point of entry, you are submitting a claim based on accreditation of prior learning. And then all those applications will come to me so that I can view you know, your certificates of certified learning and your experience of prior learning that will match those learning outcomes from the foundation programme. So I would like to have those online forms submitted by the last week of July. Um, so um, the 24th of July, 2021, you know, in the year that you intend to start this course. And certainly um, I am um, in communication with Anna FA from NICPLD and also the GP Federation. And we will be sending out to all those pharmacists who are interested in undertaking the MSc in advanced pharmacy practice, an example of how you would complete that accreditation of um, prior experiential learning, how you can show that you match those outcomes for that foundation program. So that essentially um, will be the way that we assess and recognise your prior experiential learning for academic purposes. And this recognition um, gives you the, a learning credit value, um, which allows to be count counted towards the completion of the programme of the MSc. So essentially that accreditation of prior learning will cover those 60 credits for that foundation programme which is the module in the first year PHA 752. So certainly if you have any queries regarding how to complete the accreditation of prior learning, just um, send those to me and I will advise you on the process and its requirements. But as I said, we will be um, sending out guidance to those pharmacists who wish to complete the um, accreditation of prior learning form. And your certified learning accreditation of prior certificated learning um, will cover PHA 753 and PHA 754, which are the medicines optimization um, and pharmacist independent prescribing. And again, um, I would like those by the last week of July for application. So the modules that you will study in it is essentially termed year three, will be the advanced pharmacy practice development. Perhaps that's maybe, um, I'll just zoom in there. So advanced pharmacy practice development module, um, PHA 748. Um, and as I showed you within the prospectus, it matches the learning outcomes from the advanced pharmacy framework for, through the Royal Pharmaceutical Society. Um, within that year, you will also undertake a 10 credit module, which will cover research methodologies for advanced pharmacy practice. So that will enable you to develop a research proposal um, leading into undertaking your research project um, in the final semester. So the research met methodologies will run online semester two. So that will be after Christmas. 
and then um, followed on with the research project in advanced pharmacy practice, which will take place in probably after Easter and then running into the summer um, semester as well. So three modules in year three to be completed once you have undertaken that um, accreditation of prior learning and certified learning. Fees and finance. Um, the course fees are £2,089.80. So um, our credit rate for the course is 34.83 per credit value. So there are 60 credits completed in that third year and 50% of those fees will be funded by NICPLD. So um, whenever you are paying your fees, you will be able to say that NICPLD will be part funding those and then we will invoice NICPLD directly for those fees and you will just pay half of that. So essentially it'll be £1,045 um, that you will end up paying there. There are also flexible payment options available um, for the course as well. So fees and finance can give you more information about that. If you are an alumni from Ulster, there is um, a 10% discount available to you as well. And certainly there's a 5% discount for upfront payments. So um, we try to make it as um, straightforward for you as well. And also fees can give you more information. Um, there are loans available up to £5,500 available um, to undertake the course as well. So certainly um, fees will be able to give you more information on that and Avril and myself can direct you to that. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, my email details are there and my phone details are there as well. You can um, enter questions into the chat function there. I'm sorry you all have been muted in it. I don't think we have the opportunity to discuss um, within the webinar, but certainly if you want to put in some questions through the chat function, feel free to do that now.